Welcome to Worship Tutorials. Happy day, friends. Uh, we have an acoustic guitar IR pack for you. Not now, just any acoustic guitar. Not just Brian, any show acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the first acoustic guitar pack that we did here at Worship Tutorials was called the Holy Grail. It was an IR pack based on this McPherson. This is my McPherson Camriel. Uh, guitar, I think in that video I probably said, this is the best sounding acoustic guitar I've ever heard. I kind of lied because this is the other best acoustic guitar I've ever heard. This is the best I've ever heard, so. This is the Holy Grail 2. Not V2 from this guitar, but a brand new pack based on Bradford's McPherson. Not to suggest one is more superior than the other. They're, they're equals. They're peers. <laughs> they have a slightly different They're camber. both amazing. So in the beginning, you heard Bradford play uh, this. This is an MG 4.0. That's yes. what they call this thing. As in the depth is four inches yeah. at the biggest point. Tell us about this acoustic guitar. You've told us a little bit about it. Yes. Tell us what is it made of? Uh, why is it why is it the other best acoustic guitar in the world? <laughs> so this top and Brian's as well. We both have Redwood, which mm -hmm. first off, I just have there's something a soft spot soft spot in my heart for the Redwood. Is it the Ewoks? The Redwoods of California. I can't even get it out. I'm so emotional. Yeah. No, I just tripping over words. Uh, that is one thing. It's very <laughs> cool to me. It's where that. It's where those scenes were filmed in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. In the California Redwood Forest. Yeah. But. There's just something about the redwood trees, like I would love. I've been to one part and it wasn't as epic as the rest of the parts. Mm -hmm. So whatever. So this was appealing to me, but it just looks gorgeous. It has a really balanced sound. Yeah. Which honestly I wouldn't know how to compare it because the, the sides and back are figured babinga. Mm -hmm. So it's a very porous wood. <clears throat> so you can feel that some of the uh finish has kind of you sunk can feel in. The green you can bit. feel that, which mm -hmm. is Really nice. cool. I, uh, I'm pretty sure this is ebony around here. Mm -hmm. uh, we did do a video talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah. We'll link it more. below. We'll talk about both these things. But this is a very balanced sounding guitar. It is it has a like, phenomenally good sounding acoustic. Yeah. And it's like got this natural compression thing, which is really bizarre to experience in the wild, like on an acoustic instrument to hear mm -hmm. that. Um, but to me, it's got, it's got a little sweetness in the mids, just mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, Still really balanced, which is why I liked it. Mm -hmm. But it's just got yeah. this little because Brian. In contrast, this one's a little more mid forward, as you might expect with like a smaller bodied acoustic guitar. It's like the mids poke through a little bit. Yeah, Bradford's is like that tonal spectrum just balances out. Yeah. So this is how the IR, the acoustic IR thing works. You can think of it like a very extremely complicated slash magic. EQ. And they function to make the direct sound of your guitar or any acoustic electric guitar that has a pickup and an output, they function to make that sound like a mic'd guitar and in particular have the characteristics of this mic'd guitar. Mm -hmm. So we want to demonstrate how these IR sound with different guitars uh, in the room that we have. So the first guitar we want to show you is this Taylor 414. This has the Expression System version 2 in it, which is the current one that Taylor ships with all of their acoustic guitars. And we are using the EXP uh, IR option. Uh, and uh, I forget which one, but we'll label it which microphone option we use. But what you're going to hear is, this is all going through the Line 6 Helix. You're going to hear, Bradford, you played this one, correct? Yeah, Bradford is going to play a little bit on the Taylor and it's just gonna turn the IR on and off, the IR block in the Helix on and off so you can hear the direct output, the Taylor Expression System. By the way, Bradford, there's another video in the works here called, We Made the Expression System Sound Great. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I've never been a huge fan, but it does sound really good yeah. with these IRs. And something that, and about- that Taylor pretty some, good Yeah, this is a great guitar. Something about the Expression System the way it works with these IRs, it came out really good. So you're gonna oh, hear yeah. Oh, yeah. Bradford turn it on and off. So you'll hear the direct out from the expression system and then the direct out with the IR applied.
Okay, the next example is my Martin D35. This has a LR Bags Anthem system in it. Uh, and we actually use this guitar and the Taylor, we use that too. We use the Taylor to make the EXP IRs. We use this guitar to make the SB1 IRs and the PZ1 because you can go all soundboard. Soundboard. You like know, the mic anthem, anthem, or you can roll it and just use the piezo element. It's an element, piezo system uh, for this. So you're going to hear this guitar. We are using the full mic uh, setting on this, on the anthem, and then I think I played this one because uh, this is, this is, this guitar has a lot of cinnamon value boy. to me. I love this guitar. Um, and it really sounds great with these IRs as well. They work really well if you have an anthem system in your guitar, SB1 or SB2 or the blend, either, all three of them should work great. Uh, so I'm gonna play it, turn it on and off in the Helix. Here it is. So last is this orange wood. This is, I mean, we did a video on this one too, if you're curious. This is a rather introductory model. It's about $300. It's it's budget. It is. It's great for the budget. But it it sounds great. Now the, the electronics in the it- The pickup system not is, so is not so good. No. <laughs> I really enjoy, it's got a really cool character. Uh, yeah, just unplugged. acoustic playing. Yeah, I, it's got a cool little character for that. But, um, yes, this thing plugged in sounds like there's a blanket over it. Well, you're going to hear it. You're, you'll hear it. Let me demonstrate. It sounds like this. Exactly. And then we plug the IR, which is, it's crazy because even if you don't care about what guitar type mm -hmm. you're getting an IR for, there's no denying that putting any kind of IR of an acoustic guitar on this bad dude. <laughs> Probably make it sound better. Makes it sound better. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. If you're curious about this guitar, this has a Fishman, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like an introductory, introductory level Fishman piezo system in it. Uh, so most guitars in the world, acoustic electric guitars, have piezos in them. And uh, I really hate how they sound, uh, especially if you call them piezos. I really hate that when people call it piezo systems. I don't know what's correct though. What's I don't right, know. right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, we're team piezo here, worship tutorial. Yeah, we said piezo. Um, so if you have a guitar that has a piezo system in it, uh, IRs can make a world of difference. You probably noticed like it sounded, it didn't, you're, it's not gonna make like a guitar with this kind of a pickup system. It's not gonna make it sound just like a mic'd acoustic guitar, no. but it does just radically improve the way it sounds and yeah. it gives it the character of a mic'd guitar. And it's it should be said also, the direct in was literally like, Direct in. Yeah, I mean, like, we're running Helix and that. And yeah, the only the, the IR Helix, block and the volume block. That's are it. in this chain. Yeah, just and straight out to the. You're Apollo. gonna have somebody. There are people who run front of house mm -hmm. that could turn a guitar yeah, like this. Some people into, really know what they're doing with compression, maybe a DSer and some EQ, and yeah. you're made in the shade. Bradford, that's high level DSer on an acoustic. 
it basically works like a dynamic EQ and it pulls out nasty, harsh frequencies when they get louder. I know people. By the way. I know people. It works. So <laughs> there, that, I mean, we're not being totally fair, but at the same time, we're trying to show you how dramatic yeah. an IR could be, regardless of mm -hmm. what guitar it's on. So links below if you want to grab this IR pack. We now have put together like a legitimate uh, free sample pack. Which is dumb on our part. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, it's like great. You don't Man. you don't even need to buy anything from us. You get it for free. These IRs do not come in the free sample pack because we made it before we made these IRs. But uh, you will uh, have an opportunity to try out IRs. All we put all the different pickup types in for like one mic option yeah. for three different packs that we have here at Worst Insane. Tutorials. So you can try them on your own to see how they work. But we believe in them that much that we think. You're gonna love them, and you're gonna hopefully you're want gonna more. love the way you sound. I guarantee <laughs> we it. We guarantee it. Thank you, Men's Warehouse. All right, <laughs> well, just, just like just like our our patches. If you're an electric guitar player, yeah. when we give away something for free, it's we don't full like featured. Yeah, we don't go like ha ha jokes on them. We're giving them like fifty percent of what we got. Like you could, in fact, not buy a pack from us, but if you enjoy what you get out of the free pack. Maybe consider at least buying one or two. Why would you not want the heart and soul of this thing in coming out of the output of your guitar? I'm convinced that my sweat particles have made mm. this guitar sound sweeter. Probably. They torify the top, Bradford. I mean, the do. Ewoks probably touched this. <laughs> so this is exactly what you get with an IR pack like this one and the others. Uh, you get different sample rates and different IR lengths. So we make them in 200 millisecond and 500 millisecond versions. We make them at 44.1K, uh, 48K, and 96K. Uh, that's Just read because, the manual of your unit. Make yeah, that, more sense. that's because different, <laughs> uh, different IR loaders, especially hardware, uh, some of them like the Iridium, for example, will only accept... Why does Strymon do this? They will only accept 96. 96K 500 millisecond IRs. And you can use them in the Iridium. You can turn the amp Yes, off. you can use them in the Iridium. So you can use these IRs in any hardware or software application that accepts a wave IR. We get a lot of questions about this. Yeah, just a wave file. Any of the Line 6 devices will work with this. Any of the Fractal devices will work with this. The Iridium, the ACS-1. Can you turn the amp off in the ACS-1? That is a good question. I think that was a feature that was Maybe added. Maybe we'll subtitle it. I think. I think the new update did that. I think. So you can, but you definitely can use them in Iridium. Yeah. Just turn the amp modeling off yeah. and then you've just got the IR. Now, if you're a Helix a Line 6 user or actually any, the volume level, the output level of acoustic IRs is quite a bit less than electric guitar cab, like cab IRs. IRs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like on Helix where usually the IR block is at minus 18 dB, you want to go to at least zero or maybe plus two or three. I think we're running it at plus three and a half dB. But you can go up to six if you need to. And that puts it at about unity uh, with the direct output. So you can play with those settings. But do note that you need to push the volume a little bit for acoustic IRs. So you get all those options. You get all of the pickup type options, which again are three soundboard options for if you have an Anthem system or a K&K &K system, anything like that. We have the EXP option for Taylor Expression System guitars, and then we have three piezo options. For each of those options, we have all nine different microphone types. So, a lot of variety. Sounds like a lot, but... It, it sounds like a lot, but the reason we do it is because every acoustic guitar is different, and yeah. every pickup so system, like there are so many combinations of guitars and pickup systems, we wanted this to be as universal as we could to work with lots of different systems. I will also say this, and we get this question a lot. I have an LR Bags Anthem in my really high-end guitar. Why do I need to make it better? And I will submit that these IRs actually work best with higher-end systems. Yeah. So if you have, like when I play my McPherson, or when I play, I don't have it in my hands. I thought I had my D35 in my hands. Maybe that's saying something about this orange one. <laughs> <laughs> if I play like my D35 or my or my McPherson, I always use one of the IRs with it because it really does enhance a higher end system. It'll take a more budget friendly system like this and make it sound a lot better. But I think the real magic happens with like a high end guitar with a high end pickup system and it just takes it over the top. All right, I think we've rambled, rambled on long enough, Bradford. Uh, get better acoustic tone. Get us tone. in the same room, we just like talking stuff. <laughs> yes, hit the links below because you want better acoustic guitar plugged in tone. I know you do. We're here to help you get it. We are. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one.